Buenos dias, amigos. Good morning, friends. It's Miss Betsy here in my home classroom, and today's date is Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. Welcome to Circle Time. I'm here again with my girl, Miss Amanda. Say hola, Miss Amanda. I love you, miss you. And of course, our best buddies, Pigeon and Luna. They love hanging out at my house. They play with my kitties. They sit in the window and wave at friends that go by. We're just having the best party we can have in these circumstances. All right, friends, let's start our day um, with our pledge. Everybody remember to take your right hand, place it on your heart, and we look at our American flag. Let's say the pledge together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, friends, good job. I hope that you all had a wonderful, wonderful, fun Easter. I hope that you enjoyed your time with your families. Uh, maybe you had an Easter egg hunt. Maybe the Easter bunny came to see you. And I also hope that you all talked about um, and remembered the reason for the season that um, he is risen. So um, I hope that you took a minute um, or some time that day to um, thank God and, and worship in that way. Um, let's say our blessing or our, our prayer for today. Dear God, thank you for another beautiful spring day. Thank you, God, for our families and our friends. And thank you, God, for you and for Jesus and all your sacrifices so that we can um, have good lives here on earth. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends, let's see. We are going to do a song. This is a song called All Creatures. I think that's what it's called. And we do this sometime in pigeon class. It's kind of been a while. So I had to, I had to kind of make some notes for myself to remember. But um, you guys should stand up and dance around and do these motions real big. Miss Betsy's just going to sit right here and do them with you. So try to sing along and have some fun. And you guys get up and dance and move. All creatures big, all creatures small. Ones that run, ones that crawl, they help each other every day. They celebrate in their special way. Katie the kangaroo goes like this. Kiss your brain. Kiss your brain. Kiss your brain. Kiss your brain. Rocco the rhino goes like this. Raise the roof, raise the roof, raise the roof, raise the roof. Benny Baboon goes like this. Baseball wave, baseball wave, baseball wave, baseball wave. Fasha the fox goes like this. Fireworks. Get ready to strike a pose. 
got up and moved around your living rooms and had fun with that. We have two letters of the week this week. We have the letter W, which is made with your three fingers, W. And we have the letter X. You make a pointer finger and then you curl it. That's the sign for the letter X. Let's do some um, sign language words from different W words. What does a W say? W, w, water, water. Take your arm like this is the um, ocean, whale. This is also called a ballena. We do this in our Una Sardina song. Whale, w, w, whale. What else did we do? Oh, we've also learned the sign for worm. W worm. What about walk? Take your, these are three fingers, walk. You can also show somebody walking like this. Now the sound X is kind of hard to say. It's like a K and an S together. And not many uh, words start with the letter X. And when they do, it doesn't usually sound like an X sound. So we're gonna do, the only sign I could think of was X-ray and xylophone. So X, X, hear it? X-ray, you just spell that word in sign language. So it's X, R, A, Y, X-ray. And then the word xylophone sounds like the letter Z, but it's actually spelled with an X. And a xylophone is the musical instrument with all the colors and you take your little wands. And so if you pretend like you're going up and down playing your xylophone, that's the sign for xylophone. How do we make or draw the letter X? We always start our letters at the top. You start at the top, you do a big line down, jump to the top, big line down. That's the letter X. In a lowercase x is the same thing, it's just smaller. Big little line down, little line down. And then W, you start at the top, big line down, big line up, big line down, big line up. And the same thing with a lowercase w. Little line down, little line up, little line up, little line up. Very good. I have my fancy Nancy fancy words books that we've been learning each week with our letter of the week. Fancy Nancy's W word is wardrobe. Wardrobe is a collection of clothes. I have quite an extensive wardrobe. There she is, she's so fancy. So all of the clothes in your closet or in your dresser drawers, that's your wardrobe. Okay, now this is an X word that Miss Betsy didn't know until last year when we were reading our Fancy Nancy book. It starts with an X, but it's pronounced xenophile. Again, it start with, starts with an X, but it's pronounced with a Z sound. A xenophile is a person who loves foreign people and foreign things. There she is, she's studying all about people in other cultures and other countries. I am a xenophile. I especially love anything that's French. There she is. So our two fancy Nancy words, wardrobe and xenophile. Try to see if you can use those words in a sentence this week, friends. Okay, you are going to see this week that all of our teachers in our enrichment class have focused on insects and life cycles. So you're gonna see lots of fun activities this week that have to do with insects and life cycles. Um, you're going to learn about the butterfly life cycle, the tadpoles. You're gonna learn so much about life cycles and, um, and butterflies. I did want to teach you um, one other topic this week. I gotta find my book. Um, it's called opposites, and if you take your two fingers and put them together and pull them apart, that's the sign for opposites. And it means, it's hard to explain, but it's the act, the, the opposite or the, the opposite of, of one thing. 
It's hard to explain, friends. Maybe this book will help. It's the Up and Down book, illustrated by Mary Blair. And Mary Blair is a wonderful, wonderful woman. And we read a book about her in pigeon class that she had so much to do with the colors in Disney World. I suggest you find it. Now, the opposites in this book are up, and the opposite of up is down. So this is just a cute book about up and down. The bug crawls up, the bug crawls down. Look at these beautiful illustrations. She's so amazing. I climb up, I slide down. The clouds are up, the grass is down. I look up at a bird, I look down at a worm. You guys know that sign. This is the sign for bird. I look up at a bird and I look down at a worm. I am up on the land. The fish is down in the water. My umbrella goes up when the rain comes down. I wish I could spend more time talking about these pictures. I'm trying to keep my videos not so long, but she's just, she is amazing. I stand up on the swing. I hang down from the swing. Flowers grow up and so do people. The sun goes down, the moon is up. The elevator goes up and down. I love being on elevators, especially this is called a glass elevator where you can see out. They're super fun. My head is up, my feet are down. When I stand on my head, I am upside down. Yay, Mary Blair. All right, let's do a couple more opposites. I want you guys to think, what is the opposite of black? Black, you're right, white. Black, white. What about daytime? What's the opposite of daytime? Nighttime, you have the day and night. Day and night. What about something that's really tall? The opposite of tall, short. You might have a really tall tree and then a little short tree. Okay, in the kitchen, sometimes I boil water and it is hot. It's so hot. Hot, what's the opposite? Cold, hot. Cold. Good job, friends. Yes. No. Yes. No. Good job. I want you guys to practice some more opposites with your family. Go around your house and think of things that could be opposite. Pretty. Not so pretty. Fat bugs. Skinny bugs. Okay. Good job. All right, I want to go through your packets this week. You have your letter from us explaining all our new videos. Then you have some science pages about insects and life cycles. This one is going to be so fun. You get to build an insect. Miss Rachel does a really cool video teaching you all about the different parts of an insect and all the different parts that they have to have to be an insect. And then you get to use this paper to draw your own insect. We have a life cycle of a ladybug and a life cycle of an ant. This one is really cool. After you learn all about what insects are and what parts they have and what makes them insects, you use this paper to cut all these things out and decide, is it an insect or not an insect? 
I'm going to let you do this page on your own because it's kind of fun. Then you have your reader for the week. I see insects. And I want you to notice on every page they start the same. I see a beetle. So then the next page starts out. I see an ant, okay? So make sure you color your pictures, cut it and put it in a book and then practice reading it. Miss Betsy does a craft with you on the frog life cycle. Here's the paper that's in your packet. You need to color these pictures and cut them out. Now you'll see in Miss Betsy's video that I, before I cut them out, I wrote the words under them. So you'll see in my video, I suggest you try to do that. Practice writing your words of what these are. And then this is what your finished product will look like. Frog lifestyle. See there? I wrote a word. What word do you think that is? Eggs. Tadpoles. Froglet. And frog. Have fun with that. Make it colorful. You have a Mercer Mayer. Since we've been reading some Mercer Mayer books, you have a coloring sheet which you can do with watercolors, crayons, markers, whatever you want. And Mercer Mayer does something fun in his videos. He hides different things in his videos. So you need to look in this picture and see if you can find the hidden spider, the grasshopper, and the mouse. They're all in there. The last thing we put in your packets are some arts and crafts ideas for the week. Our enrichment team found all different kinds of fun ideas for you to do and wrote the instructions on how to do them at home. So have fun if you wanna do some of these. You don't have to, it's just some ideas. And of course, we always love to see your videos of your crafts you're doing, your dancing, your reading books, whatever, whatever you would like to send us, we would love to have it. We would love to have it in a video or pictures through our um, email or also on the Waypoint Preschool um, Facebook page. All right, before I go, friends, got to get some wise advice from our guy, Pete the Cat's Groovy Guide to Life. And with this quarantine and, and being home with our families and, and maybe days get longer and you want to go outside and you want to see your friends, it's hard. It's really hard, friends. So this is Pete's advice that I'm going to take with me today. Look for the good in every day. So there he is, friends. Look for the good. Stay positive, stay happy, and enjoy this time with your families. All right, signing off. Have a great week.